Hello guys and welcome to my 2024 New Year's glow up video. So we are in a new year and that's super exciting. This always makes me super motivated to just get stuff done, not procrastinate and really start on my New Year's resolutions early. So I figured I'd share them with you guys and share a little bit of me in the next couple of days, just resetting for the new year. It's like the perfect time to just set up my year, get my intentions in order and really just kind of hit the ground running going into January. So I'm gonna share with you guys a couple of things and then we're gonna get started. I have a couple different categories that we're gonna work through in today's video and that is hygiene, health, mindset, and a deep clean of the house. So I, I'm i so bad at cleaning my house and I live in a two bedroom apartment with a dog who sheds a ton. So we're definitely gonna tackle cleaning around the house. I just never really dust and clean off the shelves and stuff. So I really need to do that. I am gonna declutter my fridge and my pantry and I really need to tackle my dresser drawer I did do my sock drawer yesterday and that's kind of what motivated this video. I was like, I should share this with you guys, but I have my workout drawer that's like overflowing because I keep buying leggings. Yeah, um, and my closet is overflowing too. So I think we're gonna do a little bit of a declutter of both of those. And hygiene, I need to pluck my eyebrows. I've kind of been waiting to show you guys how I do that. So I'm gonna do a little cleanup of my eyebrows. We're going to do some teeth whitener. I did already blow up my hair yesterday, so we're good on that. Some self tan, and then I need to redo my nails. I did them for Christmas, and I've still got like a little snowflake on here, which I think is perfect, but they're already chipping and coming off. So we're gonna do some gel nails together. And then for my health category, I'm going to plan my workout schedule for January and a meal plan. I like to print out like a little calendar of the month and then put my days that I'm gonna work out what on there. So I'll share that with you guys and then come up with a little meal plan and go grocery shopping, which I'm gonna do today. My mindset section, which is really what I'm excited for. I'm gonna set my goals for the year and for the month, I'm going to journal just freehand whatever comes to mind about the year and reflecting on last year. I'm going to create my goal board on Pinterest, which I've already kind of done. So I'll just share with you guys what I did. And I do want to make a little like wallpaper for my computer that has all of my goals for the year. And then I'm going to try and plan out an ideal morning routine, as well as planning out my content for January, which I've already kind of gotten started in my Notion app. So I'll show you guys how I plan content as well, just because honestly, the last couple of months of the year, I totally fell off in making content. I was only making like one YouTube video a week and I usually make three. So I was just really slacking on all platforms, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. So we're gonna get back on track and tackle that. But that's my goals for today's video. It's gonna be over a couple days because obviously that's a lot of stuff and I'm not pressuring myself to do it all in one day. It's gonna be kind of over the next week. So let's get started. So I am looking for a calendar that I can print out to use as my workout calendar for the month. So this is December's just for reference and I'm probably gonna do something very similar. I found that kind of like structuring out four days out of seven works really well for me because I can have like three flex days where I wanna do, I can pretty much do whatever I want on those days, so.
So there is January all done. I love to take my Pilates classes on Wednesdays and Fridays because I have my favorite instructors that teach in the mornings and it's honestly the best days of the week going to class. Usually I like to stack my strength in the beginning of the week because I'm always more motivated on like the first couple of days of the week. So I like to do lower body and upper body the first couple of days. And honestly, Pilates is more of like a rest for me um, than anything. So usually I'll do like something on the weekends that is really cardio focused. So. For example, I'm gonna shoot for Sundays to be a Peloton class. I like to go to just the gym in my apartment and use their stationary bike and then take a Peloton class on my phone. I have the mobile app. So I'll usually do that on the weekend and then give myself like a break kind of near the end of the week. And then usually Saturday I will work out, but it'll be something like different, like maybe a run or like a class or just something that's like not expected. So I just like to leave Saturday open but we did already have um, Monday the 1st. I didn't work out yesterday because I was off and I just didn't feel like it. So I'm just gonna cross that out. I did not do that. <laughs> but yeah, that's my workout calendar for the month. Next, we're gonna plan my personal calendar. So I did already do January. This is my work planner. This is just from uh, Day Designer. I think I got this off of Amazon, but they sell it in Target. And I did already do my calendar of the month for January. So I'm going to transfer this over to my just big calendar. I like to be able to see everything at once. Whereas this one, I usually turn it to the weeks and the days and kind of fill out all my things that I have going on, to-dos and then like daily meetings and things like that. So I don't really usually look at this full view unless it's over here. Okay, that's everything for January. Not really a ton going on. Um, just a couple things near the beginning of the month and that's about it. We are here in my closet and it is cleanup time. I did just purchase some hangers from Marshalls. These are a 25 pack of velvet hangers for $9.99. I always get them from Marshalls because honestly it's the best bang for your buck. Amazon has velvet hangers, but they're overpriced, so. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, my closet is a mess. So I'm very lucky that we have this huge closet in the master of our apartment. And then my boyfriend actually has his own closet over on the other side of the apartment, which is like half the size of this. So he was very generous to give me the giant closet to myself. But I have all my shoes laid out in here. I have a few more like occasional, like high heels that are super sparkly and stuff that I'm not gonna wear every day. So I leave them just up above, but if you saw the floor, and I'm gonna show you, I have just stuff stacked everywhere. So I just wanna get it kind of cleaned up a little bit um, and just put back together because it's a little messy. I just have stuff piled on the floor because I ran out of hangers and it, I'm, I'm done with looking at it. So we're gonna clean it up today. And I am gonna declutter just like a few things here and there. I'm just gonna go through all of my stuff and just kind of declutter as I see fit. So let's get started. Exhibit A, <laughs> just a pile of sweaters. Some random shoes, boxes. Our luggage will, of course, you know, stay here. I have some random stuff. Christmas gifts still. Returns. Just so much random stuff. These are my empties. I keep them in my closet. And then this is where I, like, actually have some real storage, which is great. I just have, like, accessories on here in little bags. And then these are, like, my travel items. Some more travel items. So I'm just going to clean up.
Okay, it's not perfect, but I did get rid of 20 articles of clothing and I cleaned up the floor a lot, so it looks a lot better to me. Well, you guys, here we are, uh, almost four weeks into January, and uh, finally finished. <laughs> I took down the Christmas tree this weekend, so yeah, that took quite some time. Obviously, I didn't get everything done on my list of things to do, whatever, but I feel like I did do stuff. I'm very happy with what I did. I'm proud of myself for preparing for the year and stuff like that. But honestly, it's not that big of a deal and I'm not going to stress myself out over it. So anyways, that is it for my little 2024 glow up, I guess you could say. <laughs> but it was really just kind of like a refresh getting myself prepared for the new year. So that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. You want to say goodnight? Can you say goodnight?